Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 2, the uh, mini-campaign with Northern Line and Mathis. Say hello, guys. Hello. hello. So, yeah, I'm, let's go. I'm hovering That's over the air of the Aztec Emperor, it's not telling me anything. I don't know, maybe am I hovering over the wrong spot? Probably. Hmm. So, so, like... Oh, yeah, okay. You have nope, him I see it. Yeah. Oh, know. yeah, he needs to die. Yeah, you actually have to hover over the title. Yep, nope, I got it. How, how close are you in the succession line? I'm next. You're next? Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. Yep. Here we go. Boom. You hey, as well. You dog. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm next. We need to kill the emperor now. You no might problem. as well. Wait, wait. Uh... What happened? Hmm? He died. And now I'm not the heir. What just happened? I was number two. And now I'm not number two anymore. Did now it's Lord. three totally different heirs. Well, one of them has been oh, killed. Oh, now I'm number three again. Now I'm number right. three. Oh, I'm I throwing away no so idea. much money doing this. Well, they're on um, Agnatic Gavelkind. Gavelkind's just such a very complicated, very that, complicated That has to be the reason. Issue. I need, at this point, I need to throw money at this so that Mathis can become the... That and you can die. No, so he can become the Empire, or the Emperor, and then he can fight my civil wars for me. I'll do it. I'll do it. If you can get me to the Emperor, I'll do that's it. What I'm, that's what I'm trying. Everyone on my council has a negative 100 opinion of me. Just start murdering the heirs over and over and over again. No, that's what I'm going to try to do, but... You're like third in line? I am third in line right now. Okay, that's fine. And after that, then we go to town on the Emperor. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And you can right, die. You could possibly die that way, which is good. There's one done. Just make sure you have the uh, the your spy master over there. Yep. Oh no, he's over there. Never fear. So you got one. Yep. One's done. I'm number two. So this guy's there's, just gonna go. There's two done. Oh, am I next? Am I in line? I am. I'm in you line. Are. Kill him. You're spending all right. like all your money in this, aren't you? Yeah, but he wants to die. I'm aware. Thing. Oh yes. Mathis. Yes. Pause. Mathis. Pause it. Pause it. Please pause it. Mathis. Oh, thank God. You fucking <laughs> owe me, Mathis. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Okay, I gotta check my vassals. I need to do some management. Pardon That's acceptable. Me. Um, Everybody likes me. Holy crap. Let me give you some advice, emperor to emperor. <laughs> Don't do what I did. Oh, holy I think, shit. I think All you right. should release some of your uh, Aquitanian vassals, because, you know, you don't belong I am here. gonna have to do some. I am going to do some land management. I am going to have to release, because what we talk, what the thing we're going to have to talk about is just, um, like, what happens if I still maintain the Aztec Empire when we go to E4? What do I keep? What do I get rid of? Easiest solution yeah. would be to downgrade yourself to king tier. Just destroy the empire title and keep the top king title that you want. I could do that. That's and fine. then you'd be the king, in, you know, like the king of Castile instead of the Aztecs. All right. Well, the one thing I need to do right the fuck now is win some wars. Like what? Uh, the three wars I'm in. Oh, you have wars now. Yeah, I've had wars. This is this is just I've been Harry. I kept the wars, but now I have an empire to fight with me. I'm so thankful that that actually worked out. All right, now you need to die, right, Ryan? That's what you want. You're gonna murder me? I don't. No, no, no. I'm not gonna murder this, you. This but... is the thanks I get. No, didn't you want to <laughs> die? I'm saying, don't you want to die? I would like. It would probably be for the best if I died, but you know, I'm not necessarily the smartest guy when it comes to predicting what's going to happen in succession so but i think i'd be i think that would be for the best well, who's yes. there? it's um you know the senior kinsman let's put okay. it this way he certainly could not be more hated than i'm hated gotcha i have a negative 210 opinion for every vassal and yet somehow some of them still kind of like me weird well you know negative 40 if you consider negative 40 to be liking Okay, uh, I think I'm good. All right. Remember, Mathis, remember who put you on the throne here. Right. How much work you did for me, all to told. Exactly. Um, I love that Mathis started as... Was it Leon that you started as? Oh, Castile. You started as Castile. Castile doesn't exist anymore. You're the Aztec Empire. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> and all it took was like five assassinations in two weeks. And then you, yeah. you imagine if we had done that somehow at the beginning when the Aztecs still had two hundred thousand, yeah, and true. strong troops. I'm glad that didn't happen actually, because then it would just be Mathis playing as the Magyars all over again. Mm, true. Uh, I'm just, I'm just. So that marriage, that marriage, so long ago, yes, ended up paying off. Very true. 
You never would have expected yourself to get that uh, to get that empire in succession. That's no. true. Nobody ever expects the uh, the Aztec Inquisition. The Aztec Inquisition. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, holy shit! Oh god, here we go. I'm about to win. A what game. What I would suggest is, I don't know if you can holy war, but you probably have de jure claims on like Toledo and Mercia and uh, King Leon. Are you Are you the King of Leon? I think so. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff I have to get rid of. If if you like unify Spain, then you could start as Spain in EU4, which is a really good start. Yeah, you'd have to destroy the kingdom of or the empire of the Aztecs and then create the empire of Spain. The emperor of uh, Scandinavia is offering to join my war now. Of course, That's good news. If you were to create the empire of Spain, you'd probably have to take that Portugal land from Albion. Mm, pretty pretty sure he doesn't actually. You could oh well, you could just grant him independence and let him have it, Portugal. <laughs> No, uh, you know, I'm going to hold on to what land I have right now because I'm in a really weird position and I would like to, you know, keep my power base as good as it can be. Shocking. No <laughs> one is killing me. I, I don't know what I've done to not incur any wrath. It's blowing my mind here. Holy crap, I can't believe that this is going to work. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable, let's admit. Uh, you got the job done. Yeah, yeah. Nobody likes me, so I can't do. Uh, uh, I can't get anybody invited into plots. Yeah, makes sense. You have a couple of uh, weird provinces. Oh, because you went to war. For, did you go to war for these? These little three provinces out in uh, Aztec. Well, what was, used to be the Aztec capital. Yeah. Random. I I think. Wait, no. Uh, Narbonne. I never went to war with. I went to war for Fua. Because you have Tangier, Infa, and... Oh, no, I went to war. Yeah. I went to war for Tangier. Okay. Yeah, the Duchy of Tangier down there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, uh, <clears throat> you know, useful land to have. That was the war where he you declared war on him, and then he came in just to be able to fight the Aztec army. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. And yeah, he yeah. took the Duchy anyway, because... Well, anytime I go... You, you need to go into, like, a smoky room with a projector and a slideshow of what I've done for Mathis in his wars over the course of this. It's like, yeah, I take a little bit of land, but also for, like, ages, I kept the whole thing held together by Do sheer force Do you see me complaining? I'm not complaining right now. I know I'm trying to tell a Roomba that <laughs> I, I have done things in my own self-interest, but it was also while making sure that, you know, our beloved companion here in Spain was not completely screwed. You have a big family, Mathis. You have like 57 living dynasty members right now. Yeah, I married all over the world. <laughs> you you mean you're... Went out of the way to do... You see, the problem is both Northern Lion and my characters are homosexual, so we don't make very many children. Yeah. That's true. House Planta... Plantagene or something like that. Yeah. It's I'm starting to think that like my guy is just going to live until he's 90. I and if so. he does... That's fine. That's I, I'm okay with not expanding anymore and just taking this land into EU4. You are? Yeah. Hmm. Ideally. Um, but I don't know what, what you have in mind. See, <laughs> Mathis became an attractive kinslayer. Yep. And uh, <laughs> becomes the Aztec Emperor. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Meanwhile, what a game. the Timurids, <laughs> they're going to be huge in the EU4 trade changeover and Novgorod formed yeah. or, well they formed a while ago but they're pretty big again does so there's just not going to be a Muscovy at the I, 1440 I don't think so no I think uh, we'll see we'll see the golden Horde and the the weird thing about the EU4 conversion is that all of the Muslim names come over so instead of being like the African like you know Tunisia or something it's going to be the to Tozirid oh yeah country and there, just, there like won't be Mamluks right it'll, it'll take the say. Sunni dynasty name all right, Mathis, what's your next move? Um, finish these three wars. Take back the land that's fucking mine. <laughs> Kill everybody who put me in a poor position. Now, that's when you say point. land that was that's yours, do you mean like land that's yours or land that's right next to, say, me or uh, Northern <laughs> Lion? No. Like, what do you consider no. yours? I want right to be clear. Right now, I consider Spain mine. Oh, okay. That's that's smart. That's good. Look, so that I am not going gonna... to be butting heads with you. I promise. I so you, do not want. So you're going to get out of Aquitaine and Burgundy. You're going to you're going to pull back, get get rid of all that land. Yeah, I, I'm. Well, I'm going to have to give. Like that's the thing. Like eventually, whether it be at the end of CK2 or at the beginning of EU4, I'm going to have to give up 
a lot of this land just to make it fair because like you yeah. said i'm gonna have america so well, i don't know what i'm gonna end up doing no, no i thought you were gonna try to, to not be considered the aztecs right but i still gonna i'm gonna have that land so i need to release land somewhere no, but if you if you change over so that your primary title is not the Aztec oh, Empire... Oh, before EU4, I won't have to worry about it over there? Yeah, the Aztecs will still exist in the game. It's just that they'll be independent from you. They'll be their own thing over the oh. new world. Mm. And you can be Spain. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely do that. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with you having... Oh. Desync? Game's oh. no longer in sync. Uh, oh, no. Oh, shoot. And we're back. A little bit of a technical difficulty there, but uh, things are good, so let's keep playing. Mm-hmm. So we were talking about um, the Tozirud. You gotta, you gotta attack that African king and then get Mercia back under control. Mm -hmm. So how far off are you from creating Spain then? You have quite a bit of the land. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even looked yet. I'm kind of just killing things right now. As soon as I end these wars, I promise I'll, I'll look. But yes, are you dead? I have been killed. <laughs> Finally, people like me again. <laughs> Oh, yes. Now what are you going to do now that they like you? That's scary. Uh, oh, some people still aren't thrilled. But all things considered, this is pretty good. Why do you hate me? Do I have too many held duchies right. or something? No, you just desire a bunch of stuff. That's fine. All right. One second. I got to give some stuff away. You guys talk amongst yourselves for That's a fine. While. I just ended one war. How's that going for you? Now I'm going after the uh, African nation. Mm hmm. Oh, you're already at war with the Tuzerud. Apparently. But why? Uh, I'm not even sure. Oh, yeah. He's, he's attacking me. That's right. He was attacking me before I was the Aztec Empire. And you're already winning 89%. Wow. <laughs> you should probably get something good when uh, you get I'm some money from him. Well, you know, half of uh, the battle's just showing up, right? So, Yeah, well, for Mathis, 90% of the battle's just <laughs> randomly inheriting an emperor, empire. <laughs> yeah, it was real random how Mathis inherited the empire. <laughs> It'd be amazing if I could just randomly inherit the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, my duke has a 38 martial score. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. And my chancellor has a 30 diplomacy. How does this happen? That's awesome. Wow. I seriously have no idea why that exists, but I'm a huge fan of it. Steward kind of sucks, though. I'll just have him killed. Why would you hmm. have him killed? Just fire him. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. It's Don't worry about it. But don't when, even worry. <laughs> coming from your father, I mean, people come to, to believe <laughs> what you say. He was my kinsman. He wasn't my father. Oh, that's right. Remember. You're in seniority, aren't you? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. You are. So this is your this is your oldest living family member right now. Thirty one. No, you're Actually, a primogenitor. Now I'm, not, now I'm not on seniority anymore. I'm on primogenitor for some reason. That's weird. How'd that happen? Is my this this guy that I'm playing as was like, hey, emperor, change to seniority, and I was like, fine. And then he's like, just kidding. <laughs> primogenitor is actually the way to go, man. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm holding a grand <laughs> tournament. Just because that's one of my favorite uh, events in CK2. Okay, he's dead. I gained like a thousand gold. Well, not dead, but I took care of him. It's done. Who Good. are you fighting? Now I'm just going to finish off the war that the Duke of Toledo just decided to declare independence on me when I was a weak king. Wow, smart idea. Well, it was smart then because he would have won. Best of luck to you. Not you. You're going to be fine. Yeah. Well, the Duke of uh, Toledo, he's, he's trying to take over um, yo, he's trying to take over Andalusia. Ain't gonna happen. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, he's going I, for a king title. I have a claim on Andalusia as well, but I decided not to go for it because I don't want to attack Mathis directly. Mm -hmm. You could try expanding. Oh, and I lost the King Slayer, tra the kin Slayer trait. I oh, went on my, really got on my knees. The, the Pope. Wait, what'd you do to the Pope? I, I did what, I had, what had to be done. <laughs> Mathis, are we still allies? I hope so. Uh, no, no, we're not. I'm breaking feudal obliga obligations right now. Which oh, is don't do that. Trust it, me, that's no, no, it's too late. Fire. It's already done. It's fine. Oh. There's no reason to worry about it. Just do it. No, it's too late. It's already done. Like I already did it. Why'd oh, you do it? It was. It's. It was always the penalty. I don't know what what did it, but it. It's done. Mm. So. 
that's really bad. Do your best not to let it happen again, because yes. people, that can stack up really quickly. Yeah, two or three of them, and you're going to be in trouble. That's, yeah, the end, basically. Well, but it, it, it worked out okay for Northern Lions, so you could keep doing it if you want. You know, honestly, I, I know that that's a dripping in sarcasm, but it should be dripping in sarcasm, because I really should have faced some kind of punishment for that, but somehow didn't. Yeah, you, like, you have no factions. I didn't see an independence faction fire. I didn't see a... No, well, because I had 8,000 gold, and every time an independence faction came up, I just spammed the assassinate button. Which is why you broke feudal obligations. Here. Of course, that's what I'm saying. It can spiral what? out of control very quickly. Look at this. The Ilkhanate owns the county of Lieda in Barcelona. The Ilkhanate. Wow. <laughs> like the Mus like next to the Timurids owns land next to Barcelona. So oh. the Scandinavian capital is Iceland. <clears throat> Apparently. And I am inviting Torkel Torkelson <laughs> into my court so that I can get a claim on it. Good old Torkel Torkelson. Torkel Torkelson. He's a good guy. Heir to the kingdom of Lithuania and uh has a claim on Sc on uh, Iceland. And this guy wants a white piece. I accept. How strong is Scandinavia right now? Peace has returned to the realm. I need to op I'm going to cheat open up the ledger. Now, my, Do you guys uh, consider that cheating? I don't know. A lot of people... The ledger? Get no. I think the ledger's fine. <clears throat> How else would you do anything in this game if it's all about numbers? Yeah. Oh, man. Scandinavia is real weak. Scandinavia right now, is my ally, you know. Just, okay. just so you know. Okay. Army size. Holy Roman Empire, Timurids, Albion, Egypt, Naples, Aztec Empire, Africa, Golden Horde, Byzantines. Yeah. I'm, There's your top uh, eight or so. I'm actually number one. You, it's just that I hacked oh. the game. It's a secret spot in the ledger. <laughs> That's no. a good thing. I'm very pleased that you did that for yourself then. Well, you are pretty strong. You're third, right? Yeah. Mm. I should be first, but I threw myself into... Mathis Wars. And the Aztecs are fifth. So, yes. I, that's fantastic. So Mathis just inherits his way into fifth, the fifth largest country. <laughs> I accept. <laughs> I accept this wonderful gift. Uh, that's good. Hmm. Let's send this guy gifts. No. One of these days. One of these days. Uh... Arumba, just don't save us both some trouble and don't accept this call to arms. Why would you call me to arms if you don't want me to? No, I'm not calling you to arms. Scandinavia is going to call you to arms. Oh, I see. Hmm. No, you know, Scandinavia plus the Holy Roman Empire plus me could take you. And I'm yeah. with the Scandinavians and the Holy Roman Empire. The Holy Roman Empire, though, isn't going to get a call to arms for this. Sure they will. They're my best friends. They're not allied with Scandinavia, though. It doesn't matter. They're my friends. I'm going to call them to war. I don't buy that for a goddamn second. <laughs> um, what are you trying to we'll do to Scandinavia? You find I'm, just trying to take, I'm just taking Iceland. Just Iceland? Just Iceland. And, and by Iceland, you mean all of Scandinavia? I, I don't want to declare war for the entire empire. Okay. Because there's no mm -hmm. point for me. What's the point? I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Uh, it, it should be easy enough for me to just take Iceland. What do you, you know, you have no interest in Iceland anyway, and because of the war system, all you would do is cause me to, like, lose gold and prestige. It's up to you. Okay, so, I'm glad, Mathis, that you were really, really busy for a while. Why? Just cause. There's... What'd you do? Oh, oh, you moved into, you moved into Lyon. No, no, that was my land. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? I thought you wanted me to form the Spanish Empire here. Yeah, but this is my land. Yes. <laughs> it's mine. I don't see any problems with that. <laughs> it's the law of the jungle, baby. All right. Well, if you want to play the law of the jungle, what's uh, how many men can you? No, 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 no. No, no the lion's been stealing all my land for years and no, years. No, no, you all been stealing my land. land. No, this no. Is, this is French land. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like, how much power do you have, Mathis? You're the fifth largest uh, in the world. Yet. Hang on. You're pretty strong. No, he's not that strong. Don't give him a big head. You've seen stronger, right? Exactly. Your father <laughs> has seen stronger. He had. Uh, I think you're trying to make some kind of joke that I don't want to call attention I to. I can raise 37,000 men. That's not very many. 
Yeah, it's not even a lot, man. It's not even that much. You're right. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I just want you to have reasonable expectations. I'm going to go ahead and uh, release independence of this tele telemark area. Oh, tele bullshit. Telemark, where's that? Fucking no. Scandinavia, you want it? Yes. Grand it's the most valuable province in uh, the entire game. It's got a base tax of 300. I think I should just get rid of them. I'm not going to be able to do anything with them. Now that's your empire looks like real nice, actually. It's getting there. Aragon's Speak next on my, on my shit list. Yeah, I can't believe Aragon still exists. Normally, right now, I, I don't have a be... Costas Belly against them, actually. Mm. Oh, you don't? No. Normally, I would oh, be attacking oh, the Aztec Empire right now. Mm. Sorry. But I can't, because somebody... Inherited hey, them. Wait, Inherited just them. let me land the troops. Just let me land the troops. Man, this, can you not... Uh, how close are you to forming Hispania? Uh, I forget how to check that, to be honest with you. Let's take a look. We did that uh, a few videos ago. Yeah, I know, but I can't remember how to look. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> okay, so you click, click on... Click on a random county, yep, I remember that part. And then you click on where it says, like, Andalusia, the, the, the king title, De Jour Kingdom of Andalusia. Mm -hmm. And then you click on that little checkbox, De Jour, where underneath... Where's where the De Jour Kingdom of Andalusia? Oh. Just... It's like click. southern Spain. De Jour, yep, okay, got it. Click on De Jour, then what? You said, the, the little, okay, so right above the history button, there's Empire of Hispania. Right above the history button. No, there's not. I click on Dejure and it shows me Aztec Empire above the history button. Maybe you can't form the Az the Empire of Hispania as the Aztecs? All it says is Aztec Empire. I clicked on the Dejure check mark, right? Show Dejure ties? Yes. And, and uh, it's only Aztec Empire. There's no Hispania up there. Under Kingdom of Andalusia. I'll go to Andalusia. Hang on. Go to Kingdom of Andalusia. Yeah. Dejure. I click on De Jure and all above history just says, oh, his Empire of Hispania, there it is. Yeah. I need Leon and Navarra. Oh, you need to have all the king level titles. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Mm, no, you shouldn't need them. I mean, you need to have at least two. Oh, I only have... I don't think I have any of them. You don't have Castile? You're not a king? No, Castile is... What are you talking well, about? Okay. You have Galicia and Andalusia. Right. All you, you just need 80% of the... You need 80%, I have 75%. Exactly. That's like four so I need one more years. kingdom title. For some no. reason, Leon and Navarra are green? You don't need uh, another kingdom title. You need like five more counties in right. de jure Spain, and then you can well, create it. I'm going to go ahead and do that when I get Aragon. I just need to get a claim on Aragon. I apologize for this taking a second, but... I need to finish this war, and it'll be over in, like, you know, literally another two and a half real-time minutes. Sure, it's fine. And I'm... it makes up for the it makes up for the editing, or the, the premature ending we had for that earlier video. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Slightly. Perfect. Makes sense. That was, like, reason. five, like, four or five days ago, by other people's perspective. <laughs> so they're not going <laughs> to... Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, Just this is fine. I mean, I'm, I'm being productive right now, so I'm fine. Let's <laughs> keep going. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah, I want to expand here because I know for sure that, like, in the next series or the next uh, recording session, we should be uh, getting into EU four basically by the end of it, at least. Yeah, we only have um, what is that? Twenty seven years mm -hmm. left. I mean, that's like five videos. Well, that's a we might we three. might. I Normally, yeah, that's true. Normally, we, we talk about this stuff, like, off-camera, but we might want to break up our recording session this week into two. Like, one day, take us all the way up to EU4, theoretically, mm -hmm. and then... Because the converting is an instant, right? Sure it is. Oh, okay. I've only yeah. done it once. It was a while ago. Well, it depends on how fast your computer is, but, um, I mean, it, it's just... It's no different than encoding a video or something. It takes maybe three minutes. Eh, that's not bad at all. It, again, it depends on your computer. The people watching right now might be like, what? Three minutes? <laughs> That's fast. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's raising maximum feudal levies law. And for, you know, what wonderful things we've done, it's time to hold the grand tournament. Across the realm. My son Pierre just died. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. For once, I wasn't actually involved in his death. Yeah, I know you murdered somebody. You murdered... I don't, I don't remember who it was. My wife, probably. Yeah, you said your wife was pregnant, and I was like, well, I don't want this guy becoming any stronger. Yeah, yeah. There go. That was my alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. Oh. Nice. 
I just have seriously like one more battle here. I really expected them to capitulate earlier, but they decided not to. Uh, luckily, the empire, the emperor, is super young. Like I'm super young, so he shouldn't die before we get into any problems. Mm. Like, well, that's good for you. you? I'm, nice. I'm happy for you. Happy-ish. I really love how it takes like uh, 45 seconds to move from province to province. You want to you want to go on speed three for the last couple minutes? I mean, it's it's not going to crash in two minutes. Yeah, yeah, so you we think. can. So you'd think <laughs> we can. One thing that makes me wonder maybe maybe autosave causes the desyncs. It's possible. And that's like the most dangerous game. Because like it autosaves and it like causes my computer to lag for two seconds while it's doing it. Mm. So I wonder if maybe the calculations get off or something. We should. I'll, I'll look at my video and see. Uh, if my desyncs tend to happen around January 1st. Or you, you have it auto-saving every month, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. Because of you <laughs> always desyncing. <laughs> That's a smart idea. <laughs> it could be exasperating the problem. It's possible. Mm. Oh, my wife died of syphilis. But I don't have it. That doesn't seem right. How'd she get it? Exactly. That's right. I could embrace uh, Catharism. Cathar? Mm. I'm Cathar. I know you're Cathar. We could be friends. We could finally be friends. <laughs> Assuming you release France. Oh, well, you know, I, I seriously, I was not joking. I will get rid of a lot of that French land for EU4. I don't want to give it directly to you. I want to at least make you fight the AI for it. Mm -hmm. Just to give you a little bit of a, the opposite of a head start. Put you a little bit back, but uh, it's like Aquitaine. I will. You're going to release the Duchy of Aquitaine as an independent state type thing? Yeah, basically. But you, you probably, even... you'd have to do that at the very, very last, the last recording we do before the end of the game. Yeah, otherwise I'd, it would just be like creating a vassal or something, right? Uh, mm -hmm. okay, check out this. Uh, I took over Iceland, but I think I've made a grave mistake. Uh, uh Lithuania? Yeah, that's, uh, it looks like Greenland if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously though, why? And, uh, notice how Lithuania is, uh, they've, they've still got God. Lincoln. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Torkel Torkelson! <laughs> I never should have trusted you. <laughs> you deserved it, I think. I think you it's it's you've been you've been it's been a long time coming. What what I think happened is he must have like inherited Lithuania as Oh fuck. Um just just end the video. Okay. <laughs> I just, had a, I just had situation. a civil war pop up as well, and I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Look okay. at the Holy Roman Empire, man. Look at that. They're getting big, right? Took over like the Teutonic Order. Yeah, that was a few videos ago. Um, oh, my mistake. Okay. Well, as always, we appreciate you coming to watch this video. We will be back tomorrow, same time, same place. And if you like the video, please click the like button and also consider watching it from someone else's perspective, maybe even mine. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you again. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Torkel Torkelson. <laughs>